Great, you're rolling. Perfect. Hello, hello. This is Christina Vasco, and you are watching Motherpreneur TV. Very kiss. Our excuse is goodbye and cozy up to a life we love. Today, I'm taking you to an event. It's called Social Media Mastery here in Vancouver, and I'm going to introduce you to the top social media experts. Now, if you have a business idea, or you have the idea of, mm, I put myself out on social media, but you're not quite sure which one you should choose, or which is the right one for your business. Hey, stay with me, because I'm going to introduce you to what I said, the best of the best. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Steve Dotto of the uh, YouTube channel Dotto Tech, and uh, three tips that I can give everybody that's in business around using YouTube. Now, one thing you have to understand about YouTube, even though YouTube is a social network, you don't necessarily have to say build your brand on YouTube. YouTube can, is unique because it can be either a supporting technology or it can be your mainstream thrust. For me, because I am all about video and video production, it's my main social media channel. Having said that, video is the communication medium that we are most comfortable with as a, as a society today. We are, it, it's, it's the one that we're most engaged with, it's the one that we like to communicate with and like to view the most. Uh, so it's the most effective single way to communicate any sort of a message. So regardless of whether or not you want to really embrace the entire YouTube culture, creating good quality video, sharing it, posting it on YouTube, gives you the option to then leverage that content into whatever other social media platform you have. No other social media platform can you say, I create content there, but everything that I create there has benefit everywhere else. YouTube, it does. You can tweet out videos, you can post them to Facebook, you can post them to Pinterest, you can view them on YouTube itself, you can include, the, you can include snippets of them in Instagram and links to them in Instagram, and of course you can post them on your own blogs or on your own website. So any video that you create becomes an asset that you can repurpose over and over again, building your brand, building your market, in what, regardless of what marketplace you're in. So regardless of whether or not you want to become a true YouTuber, or you're just going to use YouTube as a, as a storage and delivery mechanisms for your other social networks, video is the place to be. Hi, my name is Vincent Ng of MCNG Marketing and uh, I'm glad that you're here watching this YouTube video. Uh, and so a lot of you are probably maybe a little bit afraid to, to use social media, maybe you have some privacy concerns, uh, or maybe you're not too sure where to start your business. Um, I can tell you, uh, I, I love Pinterest. Uh, and I personally think that if you are in a business that's visual, so maybe you're creating crafts at home, or maybe you're selling a type of product, um, Pinterest is perfect for you. It's highly visual, uh, people love seeing those things, and women are so supportive of everything. There's 70 million users worldwide. Uh, so if I had to give you one tip about using Pinterest, this is it. Make sure that you take the best photos of your products, ensure that they're absolutely beautiful, and make sure that you're proud of them, and then upload on Pinterest, and I promise you, you'll be surprised at how many people will reshare your content. And that's how you know that you've got a winning product, and that's how you know that you should be on Pinterest. Hi, Wendy McCollins here, your LinkedIn specialist, and here's three great tips for you if you're going to be using LinkedIn. Number one, get a professional photo done by a professional. Make sure that headshot really sparks your personality and shows who you really are. Second, make sure that your LinkedIn profile is written in the first person. Tell your story. Don't just post your resume. And third, make sure that when you do make connections, you say thank you to people for that connection. That's going to make you stand out over and above everybody else. So those are my three tips for using LinkedIn more effectively. Stephen Vincent, thank you so much for sharing your compelling reasons why we should use your preferred social media platform. And Wendy, thank you so much for sharing your tips on how to make LinkedIn work better for us. Now, I do have to apologize about the background noise. I haven't received the separate MP3 file um, on time. I know this is an excuse and I'm all about kissing my excuses goodbye. My choice was to leave it like the way it is or to cut her out. So I prefer to, hey, look unprofessional, but hey, done is better than perfect. 
Now, I would like to hear from you. Which social media platform works for you? Which one do you use? I, for example, only use Facebook and LinkedIn. LinkedIn, not so much, and lots of people are telling me I should use Twitter. I should, uh, Twitter? I should use, yeah, I should start tweeting. And I need a lot of convincing. So please give me, if you're a Twitterer, if you're a Twitterer, if you're a Twitter, give me your compelling reason why I should start tweeting. You can leave us the comments below the video. If you would like to know more about the Social Media Mastery event, go to my website at christinavashko.com and click on the blog post. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please share it with your network of friends. And you can also subscribe to weekly episodes here on Motherpreneur TV. And with this, I say goodbye. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I look forward to seeing you again next week. And until I do, remember, we are more than just mothers. We are an inspiration to ourselves, to our families, and to the world. Oh, 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 oh,